Okay guys, there's the difference. We're gonna shorten the tube. That's the axle we're gonna pull out. That's the axle we're gonna put in. Okay, and that's gonna center up the pinion or very close to it. And uh, that'll make it fit in the car. So, let's figure I'll show you the difference. Uh, I do have a yardstick, but they're not exactly side by side. But I'll show you roughly what we're gonna do. Hold on. Okay, this is just a rough measurement, guys. The studs could be longer right now. I haven't checked anything. I'm just letting you know it's approximately three inches is what we're gonna do it. So, don't hold me to any of these measurements or any of the stuff at this point. I'm just doing this to actually beating up the brakes real quick and make sure the calibers clear the rims and stuff like that. Okay, we got the super tricks back on. Do they clear? That's the factory rotor, which is obviously garbage, and the factory caliber. That's an 11 inch rotor. Not a problem. Not even close. The problem you do have with Super Trick sometimes is the heads of these bolts, the nut side, is a little thicker than the head side. So if you do run into a clearance issue, some people flip the bolts around. You'll see that a lot. Um, well, you run a very small shim if you can get it in there, but I don't have a problem whatsoever. I have clearance this way, and I have clearance depth and height. How's that? That's for Rich, not VW Rich. And this will actually allow the brakes to be a little cooler, because as we all know, and Ziggy brought it up to me once, solid wheels don't allow the heat to dissipate, which is the truth. But I will tell you one thing, these wheels being the aluminum that they are, they're definitely heat sinks. So. Uh, I remember when I used to run the skinnies on the front of the wagon, you could feel the heat from the center radiate out like a, like a big heat sink, which is one positive about it. When you have the regular Craigers, um, the regular SSTs, these are super tricks, these are aluminum, the other ones have that cast center and the steel wheel and the chrome over it, those get hot in the center and have a hard time dissipating the heat, there's a big difference. Okay guys. Got it back together. This is a pretty um, worthless video, other than the fact that I was able to neaten up the rear and make sure the tires fit. I threw the tags back on just so we have them. Three L stands for limited slip 73, 8.8. .8. Then you get into the uh, year, the month, and the day. So. So it looks like we're going to stick with the original brakes, obviously. Um, and like I said, we've got a lot of measurement to do. A lot of measuring to do. And it's not necessarily to the other car at this point, it's to this own rear. Um, these axles do go in and out just a tad, just a little bit. I didn't measure how much, but they do go in and out a little bit due to the C-clips. You got to take that into consideration when you're making your measurements. So you either have both axles out or both axles in. When they go in, they hit the pinion shaft. When they go out, they're against the side gears. And the side gears are pressed along to the outer part of the case with the S clip, with the clutch packs in between, and shims, or steels. Um, so we definitely got to start taking some measurements. Obviously, the wheels have to come back off and stuff like that. I just wanted to do, uh, make sure everything cleared, show Junior what he missed. And then uh, we'll, mark, we'll bring this thing up higher so we're not laying on the ground. Oh, and just add to my other video. Um, the question I had answered was based on me dealing with Richmond Gear, who's the only people I deal with. Um, I'm sure there are other manufacturers that make the 373. You know, I had asked a question to someone when I was a little kid. Went over to my cousin's house. My cousin had a GTX with a 446 pack in it, and it wasn't running right. And I went over there, I was little, I was maybe six, you know? And we went over there, and he's putzing with it, playing with it. And uh, I remember on the way home asking, can you have a car with four carburetors and five carburetors? 
And the answer to me was, you could have whatever you want if you have the money. So, just because one manufacturer doesn't make it doesn't mean another does. But someone like Curry Enterprises might only deal with certain gear vendor manufacturers. So the answer that I gave wasn't that it doesn't exist. If you would have listened, no, I don't mean it like that. If, if you based it on the whole answer of the video, I said I only deal with Richmond. So under the circumstances or under the information I had, Richmond gear does not make a 373 for a 9 inch. Now I also didn't look up the pro gears, but Tom would have never been running the pro gears on a streetcar. So, um, so with that said, I'm sure there's another manufacturer out there that makes it. what it is so with that said I'd like to thank everybody for their uh, input coming back I haven't had time to answer anything yet but the input coming back saying what they run and stuff like that that's pretty cool um, never did say what I ran in here uh, with that said um, we'll call it good